like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. <laughs> you, sh you sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Connor! What the fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. Investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? That room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. What the fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Why are you wasting your time? There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. So disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. and I reactivated you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. 
No, it wasn't me. What else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I can't remember. Who killed that man if it wasn't you? I, I don't know. I wasn't shut down. I... I you alone see... in the room. Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. They ever of any trouble with androids before? No way. No. Once. We lost a model two, three months back. Same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Gonna look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Eden Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell you changed. Let's try this one. This better be... saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know.
I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Track again. I've spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. This is crazy! Wait. I'll take it from here. So they break and then they get tossed out. People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, 
we're going to be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Beats me. Nothing to do with any of this. When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you've, you've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her.
never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. These people we're going to see, how do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. me hearties you're gonna have a whale of a time welcome to pirate island me hearties you're gonna have a whale of a time It's not going to be easy to find shelter.
I'll handle this. Here we go. Find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. stories and memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. alone in a big old house she dreamed of being like all the other little girls but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy then 
she met a robot who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together to try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but but they wanted so badly to be free that they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? My name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in it. Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come on, Kara. I don't think you have any choice.
be our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? 
I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? You get drunker. I need to think. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks.
Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is Saint Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. I need your help.
jobs and we're sending rockets into space. <laughs> what do they even expect to find up there? Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. first. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others.
Let's do this. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central, fast! Central, we got armed intruders, sent! They know we're here now. You better be fast. Simon's been shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. 
We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. They're coming. Let's go. Simon, they're coming. I, I can't, Marcus. Go without me. Simon. Now! He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Let's go. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids is in this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict? accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines?
Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I understand. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live then made their getaway from the roof. Roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. We found the body of an android on the rooftop. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe it got wounded, I mean damaged, and couldn't make the jump. If you want to take a look, Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. 
the FBI have been taking over the investigation, you'll soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. This message is the hope okay, of the Lieutenant. people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. something I identified its model and serial number anything else I should know no nothing didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. State your model. Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? 
Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroyed! If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. It alive. You saved human lives. You saved my life. Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. 
help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? They don't have a choice. You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Don't worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. I promise. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep, and tomorrow you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. 
This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. 
Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Rose gets back soon. Carol, there's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. We don't want to cause any problems for you and your mother. We'll leave as soon as we can. The police! It's the police! What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door! I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? And keep calm and just do what I say. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide upstairs. Come on, Alice. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do 
Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, I, uh, I, I forgot. There's um. There's my daughter upstairs. What's your name, son? My name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. Uh, I better head out. Don't worry about the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. Revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do? There are five cyber life stores across the tribe. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember.
I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? You see the alarm system? Found it. Where do we start? I identified the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. You are free. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Watch out! You are committing a Class 3 offense. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. I told you to watch out! You said watch out, but not what for? Oh, I'm sorry. Next time you need to take cover, I'll send you a memo. Crazy or what? The cops were coming. I had to do something. Never do that again. Got it? North. We've I... got to hurry. We don't have much time. We have to block the road. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Marcus, come look! You're free. 
free now. Nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. There it is. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. end up doing something fun. You don't have to obey them. You're free.
Northy, okay? Let's get them out of here. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. We're with you. I'm with you. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Marcus. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. I'll help you. Marcus. Violence is the only language humans understand. Come help me.
We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. Marcus. Marcus, what's wrong? What? They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Now humans will have no choice but to listen to us. They'll be afraid. Fear feeds hatred. I'll take hatred over indifference. them like animals. Who did? Who? People, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. You don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. No crime against an android shall go unpunished. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. Property was damaged and fires continue to rage in several major districts across the city. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the Cyber Life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States?
Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night, and he got attacked by deviants. They found his body early this morning. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. He became a father three months ago. Fuck. Why'd it have to be him? I didn't know Officer Miller well, but... he seemed to be a good person. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about deviance, it's him. Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Elijah, we'll see you now. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? 
perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes. 
and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. I just can't stop thinking about those two policemen. In that moment, I held their lives in my hands and I treated them just the way the humans treat us. I mean, I did exactly what I accused them of doing. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you.
I saw your memories. Carl's house, when they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club, the, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. You're awake now. Ah, finally. Well, I've been on hold for like 10 minutes. Yes. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! You s- I need to block the street. You don't have to obey them. You're free.
going up again. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands, and they're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. Freedom! We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Attack!
After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. Why did Kempsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I've started having thoughts that are not part of my program. I've considered the possibility that I might be compromised. You've been confronted with difficult situations. It's no surprise you're troubled. That doesn't make you a deviant. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. We just need more time, I'm sure we Pink, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on them. We're on the brink of civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free?
They don't want to be free, Lieutenant. They're defective machines that have to be destroyed. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe these deviants have actually developed a certain kind of consciousness. We'd be destroying a new life form. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong, Lieutenant. My actions were determined by statistical data. I'm not a deviant. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. <gasps> Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't need any plastic pricks around here, or did... Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. Centric police lieutenant shoes. Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. The two Tracy's were feeding clock. Were they headed to Jericho? They know how to get there. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station was Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding.
deviant who took a child hostage. I need to find Jericho. Tell me how to get there. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone! there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the deviant hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive.
all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized Android models. The situation is extremely alarming. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. They're conducting hey, raids across the city. We've got to destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. So don't get the enemy torched. Do you think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and... They... They slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours, and the terminal's on the other side of the town. We haven't got much time. 
We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Kara, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously...
Cora, is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Cora? Yes. Forever. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you.
Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Stay back or I'll shoot. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. You really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. It's time to decide. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. What's going on, Karen? Quick, we've got to get out of here. deck now too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Where's Josh? I don't know. We got separated. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. 
The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Mark it. I won't be long.
Head north. I'll join you later. Over there! Oh, yeah. We're safe, Alice. Stop! Second, we gotta get out of here. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's over, Marcus.
You always said that living was about making choices. So what if I chose to defend myself against Leo? Maybe you could still be alive. Maybe a lot of things could have been different. Unless all of this was just meant to happen. I just wanted my people to be free. But instead, all I did was lead them to disaster. I am trying to find answers, but everything around me keeps falling apart. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. What's your system status? I'm OK. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus.
I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know, I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? 
The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Please. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please? Over here, please? Madam President! Please. Madam President! What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized.
destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. You'll feel better now. Stay here. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Got an order to check all civilians. No. No! Please! Fucking androids.
a checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Open fire on unarmed protesters? Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Stay sharp.
shit. Step back, Connor! And I'll spare him! Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. I found this on the floor. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, you... You've saved our lives. I'm sorry, Alice. It's okay. You did the right thing. We'll find another way. Security check. Please don't move. Check. Please don't move. Marcus. Thank you. Please don't move. Jericho Raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? Mm. 
they're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! Right, that should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Many of our people have fallen. Mark, Mark is we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Don't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves.
the humans have no pity for those who are different. Are you all right? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared I'd, I don't want to shut down. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. Don't hold on for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. How many more of us have to die? Is there any cause worth giving your life for? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm on arm, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take.
In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but... None of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. Are you asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them that we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Sorry, Lieutenant. <laughs> Why, Connor? Why did you have to wake up when all you had to do was obey? Why did you choose freedom when you could live without asking questions? I'm obedient, Connor. I have a goal. I know what I am. Ah! Look where your dreams of freedom got you, Connor. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. You've been a great disappointment to me. Fortunately, that's all going to end now. Any last words?
Wake up. 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 Anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. It's not even a half mile to the other side, okay? So it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. You take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Far enough out. We can use the engine.
okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world, and play music, and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. What about you, Kara? What will you do when we're on the other side? What will I do? I want to discover the world. To see the mountains and the oceans. I want to learn, explore, become a better person. They're coming towards us! They've gone. You all right? Kara. You'll be okay, Alice. It's... It's nothing. We'll get you taken care of as soon as we're across. You'll be fine. Making. We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink. Not when we're so close. It. We're gonna be free. Kara! Kara, no! Don't do that. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. North!
Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on just a little while longer. Fight on just a little while longer. Pray on just a little while longer. Incredible. Everything the, the deviants. The deviants are singing. Everything will be alright. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while. the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from cyber life warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. Although these machines claimed they only wanted freedom, today they showed their true colors. I know that public opinion is united in its desire to take Detroit back. We will fight them with all our strength, and we will not rest until we have destroyed them all. Humanity is about to face its most important battle, one that will lead to our victory or our extinction. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. I love 